Everyone's going to end up having sex at some time in their life. And why don't we make it a normal conversation to have? So that is why we're here. Welcome to Arakal Bunjalung country. Thank you. Um, best thing was probably like learning different stuff that we didn't know and um, just getting to meet different people and the leadership group stuff. A lot of safe oh, sex so info. <laughs> yeah, safe sex information. And, and condoms. condoms. <laughs> Our porn influences young people, uh, tattoos, stuff like that. Yeah, it's all about talking, it's all about communicating about it between the young, the old, the sexual active, the not sexually active. It's not like the first time you meet a young per person you go, oh by the way, did you have sex last night? You know, it's, it's you've got to lead into those discussions. When parents talk um, more openly with their children about sex, including how to protect yourself from unwanted consequences, then they're more likely to have much better, healthier, positive health and sexual outcomes that there's not a normal way to do sex. You know, there's not a normal way to do any of it. It's, there's, everything's normal because everything's different. Yeah, and I think it's really important to remove that stigma. It's normal, everybody does it. That sounds like you have a serious case of gonorrhea. Oh, gonorrhea. We have an indigenous session called uh, Keeping Our Mob Strong. It is run by the Aboriginal Health and Medical Research Council. Uh, it's a graffiti program getting a bunch of uh, young indigenous youth. It is also a peer education model and they worked over three days to create a panel that is right behind me. Not all young people get the same kind of support and um, education at school around sexual health and diversity. So it's a chance for students and for teachers um, to take back to their respective schools what they've learnt and maybe encourage other students and teachers in schools to participate in the future. And again, I just want to acknowledge all the partners of PASH, so I think this is a, a great collaborative effort. Talking about it doesn't make people sexually active, it makes them prepared for when they do become sexually active, which is, you know, the best we can hope for. I think it's really healthy to have these kinds of events. I think it's good that we should talk about it. Yeah, I think it's good to talk about sort of stuff so like you've got like more, more of an understanding about what it is and like what you can do and that stuff what you can't. Bash 2014! <laughs>